All right, so now that you've got your microphone hooked up, your Elgato Wave 3 microphone hooked up, and you've got your Wave 3 software installed, the Wavelink software, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna optimize our microphone settings in the software itself. So what you're gonna do is you're going to bring the microphone close to your mouth, you're gonna bring it within range to talk to yourself. I have got two microphones going at the same time here, so bear with me. Uh, because we're setting up the Elgato Wave 3. And bring the Wave 3 microphone within hang 10 distance of your mouth. So do this with your fingers, your finger, your, your pinky and your thumb, and have the microphone hang 10 distance away. And then we're going to optimize our volume levels, and we're going to uh, use some of the effects in the Wavelink software to make your microphone sound as good as possible. Sound good? Awesome. Let's do it. So the Wavelink software is open, as you can see right over here. And as I'm talking, we got levels popping right here in the Wave 3 software. So is my volume loud enough with my audio to be satisfactory here? I'll be honest with you, I could probably have my volume level up a little bit from where it is right now. Why, why do I think that? We're trying to set our volume levels correctly. Because generally speaking, when you're talking into your microphone, you want it to be right here toward the end where it's getting a little bit yellow and almost into the red, but not quite. So how do we fix that issue? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our system sound, go into your sound tray in the bottom of your computer down here, go ahead and right click and open up sound settings. Once you open up your sound settings, you're going to go to sound control panel. Once you open up the sound control panel, it'll pop up this little window right here. And so what you're gonna do with the sound control panel is you're gonna go to the recording tab. And here you have your microphone in for your Elgato Wave 3. That's the actual thing, that's the field that we wanna manipulate. Right click it and go to properties. Then once you're here, you're gonna to go to the levels tab. Notice how we're currently at 85 volume on the microphone. So what we can do is we can bump up that volume to about, let's say 90, okay? Once we bump it up to 90, let's zoom out, and then go look at the levels over here in the software. Notice how it's starting to pop into the yellow, but it's not quite in the red yet. Not quite the optimal volume level, okay? You want it to be right about here toward the end, but not clipping and getting to the end. So what you can do is go back into your volume and just bump it up to 95, or whatever it is for you, okay? I'm just using my example of, and notice how the audio got a little bit hotter. It's a little bit hotter, but it's not quite on the end. So let's go move it up to 100, and oh, it's perfect now. Look at that. It's absolutely perfect. It's getting toward the end. It's not quite to the end. If I get really loud, notice how it gets a little bit red, but not quite to the end. This is exactly what you want. You want it at about 80 to 90% on the volume levels to have it be the optimal volume level. Got it? Good. Now that you have the optimal volume level, it's nice and full. You can close out those, two, those sound settings right there. And then you're gonna to wanna to do a few settings here inside the Wavelink software. Do the drop down menu underneath the Elgato Wave 3 mic. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to go to the uh, settings down here at the bottom. You can do an enhanced low cut filter to cut out, cut out your bass in your audio. And there's also clip guard. I recommend enabling clip guard and I, am and I recommend enabling low cut filter. I recommend doing both of these. This is going to uh, basically uh, help remove low frequencies when talking from a greater distance of 0.5 meters. So when would you wanna use this and when would you not wanna use this setting? In general, almost all of you guys should use this setting. However, if, you're, if you do mount the microphone to a stand like I am and you're bringing it super, super close to your mouth, you may want to disable this setting so you can have the nice, beefy, low-end sound from the mic. That's gonna depend on how you're using the mic. If you're using the bass stand that comes with the microphone and you're just setting it on your table, then you're gonna to want to enable the enhanced low-cut filter setting. If you have it on a boom stand, you're going to want to consider turning that off because you're gonna want all that beefiness and that bassiness, essentially, from your voice to come through. Use clip guard, and I do recommend using the wave gain lock. Okay, so what does that do? Sometimes Skype and Zoom and all these other applications will try to take control of your audio and mess it up, basically. <laughs> and you don't want that. 
okay, you want the audio to be staying at the same levels and you want the gain to be at the exact same levels all the time, okay? And so Skype and Slack and Zoom, click that button and they don't change your audio. So once you optimize your audio here in the software, it's locked in. Now you have a low cut filter, you have your clip guard and all that stuff, you have your volume level set and nothing can change your audio settings at this point, your, your gain at this point and screw it up. I highly recommend this, especially for audio novices or people that don't wanna screw around with their audio, they wanna set it and forget it. Sound good?